Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are doing well. Today I am here to teach you chapter 3, Synthetic Fibers and Plastics. Let's warm up. Write R for the things made from rayon, N for the things made from nylon, P for the things made from plastic. So students, here you have to look at these pictures and write the name of their fibers. Here, let's know about what are synthetic fibers, types of synthetic fibers, Characteristic of synthetic fibers, plastic and the environment. So students, these are the topics we are going to discuss in our chapter. The first we have, we wear clothes to cover our bodies. The clothes which we wear are made up of fabrics. Fabrics are made from fiber or obtained from natural or artificial sources. Fibers are also used for making a large variety of household articles. So students, you all know that we wear clothes fiber. वो फैब्रिक से बनते हैं और फैब्रिक फाइबर से बनता है और फाइबर जो है वो आपका आर्टिफिशियल दैट मींस मैन मेड भी हो सकता है और नेचुरल भी हो सकते हैं नाउ वी हैव एन एक्टिविटी एक्टिविटी वन कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग टेबल हियर सीरियल नंबर नेम ऑफ आर्टिकल टाइप ऑफ फाइबर सो स्टूडेंट्स हियर यू हैव टू राइट द नेम ऑफ आर्टिकल्स in from your households and their fiber the natural fibers like cotton wool silk etc are obtained from plants or animals the synthetic fibers on the other hand are made by human beings so students aap sabko pata hai ki natural fiber hame kahan se milte hain plants or animals se milte hain synthetic fibers hand that means man made hote hain now we have what are synthetic fibers Try to recall the uniform pattern found in a necklace or beads joined together with the help of a thread. This looks like an article made from some uniform units when they are joined together systematically. A synthetic fiber is also a chain of small units joined together. Each small unit is actually a chemical substance. Many such, many such small units combine to form a large single unit called a texture. The production of silk fiber was quite expensive. This led to extensive now. What are synthetic fibers? Try to recall the uniform pattern found in a necklace of beads sewing together with the help of a tray. This looks like an article made from some uniform units when they are joined together systematically. A synthetic fiber is also a chain of small units joined together. Each small unit is actually a chemical substance. Many such small substances combine to form a large single unit called a polymer. Do you know? The word polymer comes from two Greek words poly meaning many and mer meaning part unit. So a polymer is made of many repeating units. Polymers occur in nature also cotton for example is a polymer called cellulose. Cellulose is made up of a large number of glucose units. Now, rayon. Rayon was the first man-made fiber and has been called the laboratory's first gift to the loom. It is made from the cellulose of wood pulp. That is why it is called a cellulosic polymer. As rayon is produced by the chemical treatment of cellulose, a natural substance, it is not a pure synthetic fiber. Rayon was developed as a substance for silk. Silk was probably discovered in China, but its production was kept a closely guarded secret for quite some time. Silk is the strongest, strongest natural fiber. It is soft, lustrous and has a beautiful texture. The production of silk fiber was quite expensive. This led to extensive attempts to develop an artificial fiber that looked similar to silk and was relatively cheaper. The attempt succeeded in the, in the late 19th century when the scientists when the scientists developed an artificial fiber by chemical processing of wood pulp. This fiber exhibited properties similar to that silk and was named rayon, also called artificial silk. So students, synthetic fiber kya hote hai? man-made fibers hai. Wo chemical se banaye jate hai. Or chemical ki chhoti chhoti units ko add karke, wo ek pura complete fiber ready hota hai. That is polymer. Hum kya bolte hai? Unko polymer bolte hai. Jo single unit hoti hai, usko hum log monomer bolte hai. Now, if we talk about rayon, then rayon students are artificial silk that is wood pulp that means cellulose polymer. Now, we have properties of rayon fiber. It is soft and shiny. It is less expensive than silk. It is comfortable to wear. It can be easily dyed in different colors. It absorbs moisture. Uses of rayon clothing. It is used to make clothes and accessories such as shorts, blouses, dresses, jackets, sportswear, scarves, ties and socks. Home furnishings, bed spreads, blankets and unpolished tree can be made from rayon. 
here industrial use industrial use of rayon include medical surgery products and tire coal so student these are the uses of rayon here look at the pictures we have rayon cloth rayon carpet different things made of rayon now we have nylon nylon was the world's first fully synthetic fiber it was developed by the us scientist wally h caruthers and his associates in 1930s it was produced from coal air water and agricultural by product now we have properties of nylon nylon is very strong that mean has high tensile strength it is shiny and classic it is of light weight it absorbs less water and dries quickly it has wash and wear properties that mean it does not require ironing it is soft and smooth सो so स्टूडेंट ये किसकी प्रॉपर्टीज है नाइलोन की और नाइलोन पहला कम्प्लीटली सिंथेटिक फाइबर था जो कि हमारे यूएस के साइंटिस्ट ने प्रिपेयर किया था डू यू नो नाइलोन वॉज फॉर्म ऑलमोस्ट एट द सेम टाइम इन न्यू यॉर्क एंड लंडन दे आर फोर इट वॉज नेम्ड एज नाइलोन सो स्टूडेंट नाइलोन जो है सेम टाइम पे फॉर्म किया गया था न्यू यॉर्क और लंदन में दैट्स वाई इसका नेम क्या है नाइलोन नाउ वी हैव यूज ऑफ नाइलोन नाइलोन इज यूज इन क्लोथिंग टू मेक ड्रेसेस ट्रेक शूट सॉक्स swim wears rain coats stockings shorts etc it is used in making curtains bed sheets etc now we have the another use of nylon it is used in making ropes parachutes fishing nets toothbrushes car seat belts sleeping bags racket strings tires umbrellas etc look at the picture different materials made of nylon here polyester polyester is also a synthetic fiber polyester is the name suggest is a polymer of ester there are different varieties of polyester for example terylene and pet polyethylene tetraethylene terylene fiber is used to make fabric it is often mixed with other types of fibers to make different varieties of fabrics here we have some properties of polyester it is very strong it is stretchable durable and does not sink it resist wrinkles it is easy to wash it dries fast students look here we have check and made as we already read about these things so you can do it by yourself now uses of polyester polyester is widely used as a dress material you must have seen people wearing sarees shirts dresses made of polyester polyester is popularly combined with natural fibers and man made fibers to make wrinkle free fabrics for example polycot is a mixture of polyester and cotton Similarly, poly wool is a mixture of polyester and wool. Here, polyester is also used for pillow stuffing. Pad is commonly used for making bottles and storage container. Look at the picture. Polyester dust. So, student, these are the some uses of polyester we have now. Acrylic. Acrylic fiber are synthetic fibers made from the polymer polyacrylonitrile. These properties of acrylic fibers are similar to those of wool. It is soft. lightweight and warm it is therefore used as an alternative to wool acrylic sweaters socks and blankets are widely used by people because they are cheaper than wool and are resist and resistant to weathering here we have advantages of synthetic fibers synthetic fibers have some very useful properties as follows synthetic fibers do not corrode or rust they can give in various colors they can be made in different shapes they are very strong they are inexpensive here disadvantages of synthetic fiber the main disadvantages of synthetic fibers are as follows synthetic fibers are non biodegradable that mean they cannot be decomposed by bacteria and fungi by natural process so student ye sabse badi disadvantage hai ki wo non biodegradable hote hain they also catch fire easily and they produce poisonous gases and fumes on burning aur students wo bahut jaldi fire ko catch karte hain और पॉइजनस गैसेस और फ्यूम्स को रिलीज करते हैं जब वो बर्न करते हैं नाउ वी हैव नेचुरल एंड सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स डिफरेंस बिटवीन सिंथेटिक एंड नेचुरल फाइबर्स स्टूडेंट्स लुक हियर फर्स्ट अ टेबल वी हैव सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स दे आर प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम केमिकल सब्सटेंसेस दे आर मच स्ट्रोंगर दे डू नॉट एब्सॉर्ब वाटर एंड ड्राई अप क्विकली दे आर ड्यूरेबल मोट रेजिस्टेंट एंड इजी टू मेंटेन दे आर इजीली वॉशेबल एंड रिंकल फ्री they are less expensive now natural fibers they are produced from natural substances they are not very strong they absorb water and take time to dry up they are not so durable affected by mold and difficult to maintain they are not easily washable and wrinkle free they are expensive
here we have an activity students take two cloth pieces of same size roughly half a meter square each one of these should be from natural fiber the other could be a synthetic fiber you can take help of your parents in selecting these pieces shock the pieces in different mugs each containing the same amount of water take the pieces out of the container after 5 minutes and spread them in the sun for a few minutes compare the volume of the water remaining in each container so students you can perform this activity at your home with the help of your parents do you know teflon is a special plastic on which oil and water do not stick it is used for non stick coating on cookwares now students we have plastics nowadays plastic is very common material around us we can see a large number of articles made of plastic like comb toothbrush bucket mug boxes bottles chair table toys etc as plastics are flexible materials the use of plastics has become popular to get the picture objects made of plastic now plastics and the environment undoubtedly plastic has made our life very easy plastics are being used extensively everywhere Although it is very convenient to use plastic, but it has some bad effects. So, student, plastic. आप सबको पता है उसके बहुत bad effects हैं हमारे environment पे now. Disadvantages of plastic. Plastic are non-biodegradable. That means they do not decompose naturally by the action of microorganisms. So, the accumulation of plastic waste creates environment hazard. Recycling of plastic is very costly. Plastic on burning release many poisonous gases, causing air pollution. people generally throw away plastic bags that mean non biodegradable carelessly on the roads this may choke the drains and affect the sewage system causing water to overflow especially during the monsoon season mosquitoes also breed in choked drains causing disease like malaria and dengue choked sewage system also do not allow rain water to seep into the ground causing problems in recharging ground water secondly cow bags thrown in the garbage even thus may even result in the death of animals look at the pictures a drain choked with polythene bags a cow swelling a plastic here advantages and disadvantages of some properties of plastic here we have properties advantages disadvantages property durability advantages long life disadvantages remain in the environment and decomposed for a long time property resistant to chemicals advantages useful for making different containers disadvantages remain unchanged in garbage property can be recycled advantages can be melted to form various kinds of products like toys containers bottles etc disadvantages recycling of plastic is very costly and is associated with respiratory problems due to inhalation of toxic fumes now we have measure to reduce plastic pollution Each individual can contribute to reduce plastic pollution. Try to buy products which have less plastic packaging. Then encourage reuse of plastic. We should not throw away the plastic bags after using it only once. Reusing the plastic should be encouraged. This will help a lot in reducing plastic pollution. Now we have ensure proper disposal of plastic bags. Always throw plastic bags in the dustbin. instead of throwing on the road plastic should not be thrown into rivers lakes seas etc as they dump in the soil they obstruct the growth of the growth and movement of roots this affects the plant growth use jute cloth or paper bags instead of plastic bags we usually carry plastic bags they must be encouraged to use recycled paper bags jute and cloth bags then minimize the use of plastic materials so students these are the some steps you can take and re and reduce the use of plastic now we have check and mate you can do it by yourself as we already read about these things what we learn in this chapter we are going to discuss it in a nutshell the clothes which we wear are made up of fabrics the natural fibers like cotton wool and silk are obtained from plants or animals rayon is the first synthetic fiber produced artificially nylon was the world's first synthetic fiber Rayon is widely used in textile and carpet industries. Nylon is used in clothing to make dresses, track suits, socks, swim socks, swim wears, raincoats, etc. Plastics are known biodegradable. Here we have some keywords: synthetic fibers, man-made textile fiber, usually made from natural materials. Rayon, the first synthetic fiber produced artificially. Nylon, the world's first fully synthetic fiber. non biodegradable 
not capable of being broken down by the action of living organism. Thank you students, we will meet again in the next chapter. Till then revise what we learned today.